Absolutely. Like your, your physical body is just animated by some form of energy that we like to call a soul or something. The Matrix is a computer generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. No, no. I don't believe it. It's not possible. I didn't say it would be easy, Neo. I just said it would be the truth. Stop! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I want out! I want out! If Bergson is correct in stating that our bodies coexist hive with our consciousness, and reaches as far as the stars then we are the aliens or conversely the consciousness of the alien, assuming they are conscious the same way we are, or at all reaches to the earth because all matter originates from the stars the material of our body can be considered a product of a star we have a star body and that body is interconnected with all the stars in the universe through the quantum field and this is the connection which influences our lives this is the key awareness the ancients had about astrology and numerology they viewed them as legitimate sciences of the quantum field one modern day couple who took the information seriously were ronald and nancy reagan NBC's Andrea Mitchell tells us tonight new reports of Mrs. Reagan's reliance on an astrologer raise new questions about national security. Did these sciences help Ronald Reagan to bring down the Berlin Wall and ultimately end the Cold War? Hell yeah. And I would argue that the machine tried to assassinate him to prevent him from walking into the United Nations in 1987, saying this about that force. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? Terrestrial conflict may be replicated in galactic conflict. There may be battles in space even as we read these lines, battles between invisible, to us, spacecraft, vying for control of human consciousness. The inactive state of most human consciousness is a territory to be invaded. The public disclosure that Ronald Reagan used the occult was news to most, but it has been a practice in political circles for quite some time as Lavenda notes in numerous works. Reagan's actions in many ways represented a new kind of president, one with hidden or secret knowledge of the occult, and they used it in a battle against these dark forces. The knowledge used is forbidden knowledge, which is to say that religion and science have said that these forces don't exist, and yet here we are, faced with the reality of their efficacy in the Reagan presidency. Like Ron or not, he was a magician, and we all knew that by the end of his presidency. There are two forces at work here on Earth. One is the consciousness of the universe on the human star body. The other is a divine consciousness. The 17th century French mathematician, scientist, and philosopher René Descartes is famous for the statement, I think, therefore I am. This was a positive statement on the existence of a ghost in Arthur Kessler's machine, or Peter Lavenda's secret machine. I've got one last thought for you, and it comes from the Reagan desk itself. Buried inside one of these boxes, a stack of index cards. The president's famous one-liners, his, his best jokes, written on both sides. You know, this is the humor of Ronald Reagan in 3 by 5 This one is titled One-Liners. Adolescence is the time when children suddenly feel responsible for answering the phone. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's funny. Ronald Reagan was a great comedian because throughout his life, he always knew the value of a good joke to the soul. There's a phone ringing, friends. And the shit on the other end of that line is some weird shit, bro. We'll talk about that in part three. Click that like and subscribe button, share my work, and please leave me your thoughts in the comments down below to the earth, Peace. chemically, to the rest of the universe, Atomic. I think nature's imagination 
is so much greater than man. He's never gonna let us relax, 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 relax. We live in an in-between universe where things change all right, but according to patterns, rules, or as we call them, laws of nature. Time is 